Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to replace thermal paste on the Xbox 360 Fat. You're going to need some repl replacement thermal paste. You're going to need an X clamp tool, some cotton buds, and some isopropyl alcohol. So, first we're going to turn the board over so we can see these X clamps here. And you want to get the X clamp tool, and we're going to put it in between these pegs here and pull up like this. Now you can see here there's a gap between the motherboard and then there's a little gap here so you don't want to rest the tool against the motherboard you just want to put it in between the kind of gap here like this so it's not touching against the board and you only want to put it in a little bit, not all the way. So we're going to start with this corner here, so I'm just going to put it in between a little bit. And pull up. And there we go, that's that corner off. Once again. So, there we go. So I'm going to do the outside ones first. So just like this. So there we go, that one's come off, and then that gives us a bit more access to do the other ones. So like that, and there we go. So now they're all off. If you have any IGH wiring, just make sure that that's kind of not in the way. And then we're going to just pull up on the board, make sure these pegs go through. Make sure they're, they're evenly kind of ready to come out. So this one's a little bit stuck. There we go. And then you've got the heat sinks off. And you can see the paste here. First we're going to do the heat sinks. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to put the isopropyl on it like this and scrub on this. The paste is very old, some in some cases 15 years old, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get it off. Just whatever you do, don't scratch this heat sink with anything metal. So there we go, that's cleaned up. There's a little bit of residue, but it's not a massive deal. And then we're going to move on to this one. And it's the same thing, so isopropyl and scrubbing. Okay, so with both the heat sinks cleaned, we're going to move on to the console now. So it's this chip and this chip we're looking to clean. Now, just be very careful because all these tiny components here can be you know, broken off the board and the console will just not even boot then. So you want to be very careful. Get a bit of isopropyl and just spray it on those chips. And once again go in with the Q-tip and just kind of slowly work it away. Okay, so here we have the heat sinks and the chips all cleaned up. So we're going to get our thermal paste. So we just want to get a little drop here of the paste. Push it out and put it on here in the middle. And the same with this chip. One here. And one here. There we go. So the orientation of these does matter, so you want to position this one with the power port pointing this way. So let me show you here. 
this is the orientation and you want the sticker to be here so pointing this way so we're going to put that one in okay push it down and then flip the board over and we're going to install the x clamp so i like to hold in the middle here grab one of the x clamps and you want this bit here which is the i guess the longer hole to be pushing you know pointing this way so outside of the board and then you can just clip these on and push down like that once again power port here is going like this so this piece is just going to sit right next to the other heat sink flip it round hold it from the bottom and second heat sink watch any RGH wiring you have make sure you're not clamping that down and holding it and pushing the corners down so if you're having the problem I'm having where the they're not clipping down on the corners it's probably because these are a little bit too bent outwards so I'm going to clip one of these on just like that and then I'm going to come in with my X clamp tool and just kind of pull out and then push in like this and that's going to clip it on and then the final one will clip on as well and that's the X clamps installed and that is the thermal paste replaced